Court today came down hard on the centre and the states for flouting its drought management directives. This after Yogendra Yadav and Prashant Bhushan led Swaraj Abhiyan filed a PIL saying 150 districts in the country were facing acute water shortage. Ashmit joins us now with more details. Ashmit, what did the Supreme Court observe? Right, so the issue of drought, uh, some tough words being taken by the Apex Court. The Apex Court, in fact, warning both the centre as well as the states that uh, they can't afford to begin digging a well when the house catches fire. This, of course, was in response uh, to an application filed by uh, Prashant Bhushan and Yogendra Yadav led Swaraj Abhiyan. In this PIL, in this application, what we understand is that they've raised concerns that over 150 districts are facing drought-like conditions. The PIL goes on to argue that various instructions and directions of the Apex Court in earlier cases with respect to drought management have been flouted with impunity. In fact, uh, they cite very specific instances of the Food Security Act not being complied with, of disbursement of funds under Manrega uh, not being complied with, over directions over crop loan restructuring uh, being flouted by both the centre and the states, and that there has been no action on that end. And this invited some very sharp comments from the Apex Court. The Apex Court uh, observed that this was fast turning into a wasteful, uh, wasteful experience, given that both the states and the centre appear to be passing the buck. Uh, the uh, Supreme Court also observed that it's important to address this issue and to be prepared for it. Uh, the Supreme Court also observed that drought-like conditions were seen last year and that that itself should have been a notice, that itself uh, should have put both the centre as well as the states on notice in terms of being prepared uh, for uh, these uh, uh, for these conditions. Now, finally, what we understand is that the Apex Court is also fast uh, contemplating, uh, considering contempt action against both the centre and the states. Towards that end, we understand that Swaraj Abhiyan will be filing a contempt application. So clearly, the Supreme Court seeking some tough answers on the question of drought management from the states as well as from the centre. Back to you. Ashmit, appreciate you joining us. Uh, let's go across now to the petitioner in the case, Yogendra Yadav of Swaraj Abhiyan. Yogendra, appreciate you joining us. Let me start by asking you that uh, question that Ashmit just uh, left us with. Will you be filing a contempt petition in this matter now? Uh, yes, of course, Shirin. And uh, uh, this is not just an indication. This was frankly openly discussed in the court for about 15, 20 minutes. And at the end of it, the court said, I mean, the judges were so deeply upset with what they saw that they said if the, if the directions of this apex court of this country can be violated with impunity the way they have been, what should we possibly do? And finally, in fact, they have, uh, they have directed, they have asked Swaraj Abhiyan, the petitioner, to come back with a contempt petition. Uh, so it's it's not it's not merely about possible consideration. This is explicitly something which the court has said its orders to say, okay, come back with contempt petition. I just wanted to make a small correction, uh, just uh, supplement your report. It is not a new petition at all. Uh, this is the same petition that started in December last year when there was a massive drought in the country. We went to Supreme Court about against uh, 12 states and we said, you know, they are not. Uh, fulfilling their constitutional duties. In May this year, the Supreme Court mm -hmm. gave a historic verdict on food, on Narega, on yes. midday meal. It gave big judgments. At the same time, the Supreme Court said, we will also monitor how this particular verdict is uh, carried mm. out in what is technically called continuous mendemis. <laughs> and so it, that is what is continuing. The Supreme Court is monitoring the progress of its own orders. And today, five months after mm. that historic verdict, what did the Supreme Court find? That they had said, give f ration to everyone, irrespective of whether they have ration card, mm. whether they are in priority category or none. And not a single state has done that so far. They had ordered midday meal during uh, summer vacation. Three states openly said, no, we won't do that. We did not do it. They had ordered midday meal quality to be uplifted with more egg and milk. Almost no state has done that. They had asked for the drought manual to be changed. That is being changed. But what they witnessed today was, once again, there are about 150 districts of this country which have a drought-like condition, despite mm. a common perception that we've had a wonderful monsoon. And once again, the same tricks being used by state governments. That's why the court was annoyed and said, all right, if this is how you treat the orders of the Supreme Court of this country, we have to find another way. Uh, we have to 
get these orders implemented, which is when this question of contempt petition came up. So the court has asked us to file a contempt petition, and we hear that on the 24th of October. So yes, of course, we'll file that. Okay, so you will be filing a contempt petition on the 24th of October and you're absolutely right that this is not a new petition, Yogendra. And as you know, we've been, of course, tracking this story very closely with you when the Supreme Court in May had said or accused the center and the state of an ostrich-like approach uh, with respect to the drought situation. But Yogendra, on any of the parameters or any of the directions that the Supreme Court had held out in May in its order, has there been no improvement on any parameter whatsoever? Two or three things have happened. Uh, what the government of India could do purely on paper, those are things they have done. For example, the uh, Supreme Court had said, uh, please have a contingency plan and please make your drought uh, contingency plan public. Uh, the government has done so. Uh, the court had said, appoint grievance redressal officers and food commissioners. Uh, the states on paper have done so, but the court discovered that what they had done was so fraudulent while these appointments were made on paper. Mm. Officers who were in charge of distribution of ration were made grievance officers. And in so many states, they mm. have made consumer redressal authorities as uh, state food commissioners, the court was so livid with what was being done. So yes, on paper certain things have done, mm. but the moment the court tried to scratch, things have uh, things turned out to be very poor. The one thing where improvement did happen was Mandrega. Uh, the court, the, the central government mm -hmm. had to release, I think, additionally something to the tune of 18 to 20 thousand crore rupees because of the court verdict. But even there, we've now hit a dead end because that money is exhausted. The central government has says they've nearly exhausted their budget for the entire year for Mandrega, and it's still half the year to go. So okay. we are requesting the court to order the government to release the second installment. So there's still something to be done there. Mm -hmm. Okay, very quickly before I let you go, and not to take away from the uh, importance or the significance of the matters and the issues that we're discussing, but I do remember uh, the court asking uh, whether Swaraj Abhiyan was a political party when you had filed this petition, Yogendra Yadav. So now the fact that you are a political party, is this in any manner going to impact uh, the, the manner in which this case proceeds? No, it wouldn't because Swaraj Abhiyan continues to exist. In fact, one of the major decisions that we have taken, yes, Swaraj Abhiyan has formed a political party which is called Swaraj India and I have been entrusted with the responsibility there. But the other equally important decision that we have taken is that Swaraj Abhiyan as a campaign organization will continue to exist. And I'm very proud to say that uh, Prashant Bhushan has agreed to be the president of Swaraj Abhiyan. So, unlike what you saw in Aam Aadmi Party IAC scenario, where making of the party was end of the campaign, end of the movement, this is not what we are doing. And this case is being fought by Swaraj Abhiyan. Earlier, Prashant Bhushan was its advocate. Okay. Now he's also its president. All right, Yogendra Yadav, always a pleasure speaking with you. Thank you very much for joining us.